Is it live or is it Memorex? Some of you are old enough to remember that classic ad campaign going back to the days of cassette tapes is so old. And really at the heart of that slogan is the beauty of experiencing something live as opposed to just listening to a recording. That there's just something about something being live. I mean, not only is seeing it live meaning you're experiencing it and you're there and it's real, but it also means that in the future, when you listen to those recordings, when you listen to those songs, it takes you back. And it's like you're going back to that moment when you saw it live and you heard it live. And really that was what going to Israel was for me. It took the black and white text of scripture that I had read for you know, several decades and it put color to it. It made it real. It made it alive and, 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 and animated. And really, if, if I were to have to just come up with one word to describe the trip, it would be the word surreal. At every moment you're thinking, this isn't real. <laughs> I'm hearing these names and these cities and these places and these sites that, that up until then all my life I, I just heard about and read about and now I'm walking in them. And, and I mean to, to, to walk on the steps that, where Jesus walked up to the temple and, and to, to walk through the gate that Jesus walked through to enter the city and to, to sit in the synagogue that Jesus uh, sat in and, and to touch the water of the pool of Siloam where Jesus healed the blind man, dipping my hands in the spring of Gideon, and then looking out over the valley and seeing where the Midianites would have been and, and, and hearing God say to Gideon, you're too many to conquer that army across the hill and to, you know, to walk through Ahab's cave and, and Hezekiah's tunnel and um, to take a boat across the Sea of Galilee, to, to dip my feet in the Jordan, to, to meditate at Gethsemane, to, to take communion at Golgotha, to hear a rooster crow at the place where Peter denied Jesus. And I learned interesting things like Nazareth, for example. I had no idea that Nazareth is on top of a mountain. And so Jesus growing up, where he lived, it looked out over the entire valley um, and Jerusalem and, and all those areas. And another day we went to uh, Caesarea Philippi and we visited um, the gates of Hades. And the gates of Hades was a, a, a cave, a spring that had a pagan temple built there in the times of Jesus. And it was at that place where Jesus said to the disciples and Peter, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. And I was also surprised by a lot of the stereotypes. I was surprised by how remarkably safe um, it was. I felt far more safer walking in the streets of the city at night than I ever would any city in the US. <laughs> And I, I was surprised at how remarkably green it was. So much of what we saw was just lush, beautiful green and, and, uh, and flowers. And, and I was also surprised at how remarkably small it was. And I was just surprised at how all of these things that we read about in scripture, they all took place in just such a small area. And the whole experience really, it, it just was that. It was the beauty of experiencing something live as opposed to just listening to recording, that it, it, it made it real, it, 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 it gave it color, it, it gave it animation. And I'll be honest that I really didn't expect that. I really, I mean, obviously it was on my bucket list. You know, this is gonna be a once in a lifetime opportunity. It was gonna be cool, but I had no idea how amazing it was gonna be that it, of how much it would impact uh, my walk and impact the music that I listen to in scripture for the rest of my life to be able to now, as I read those words, to be able to, to, to relive it 
and to, to be there and to experience it. And um, I'm just thankful. I'm grateful that I was able to, uh, to have that opportunity and to experience it and looking forward to doing it again with, uh, with you uh, when we go again uh, next year. So keep that on your calendars and start saving your shekels.